How to make drinking water when the world has ended. And more importantly, why would you need it? Because your bottled water's gone, your filter's melted, and your throat's drier than diplomacy. Welcome to Apocalypse Survival, where survival science is mostly sweat and regret. The rivers glow, the rain hisses, and even the fog burns your lungs. No clean water, no power, no mercy. But steam, steam doesn't care. It rises, it leaves the dirt behind. So we chase the clouds, literally. Find a metal pot that still believes in you. Set it on fire, not gently, violently. Hold a broken glass bowl over it, or a car window, or your sanity. When steam appears, catch it on a cold surface, maybe a pan you cooked rats in. Let it drip, slowly, regretfully. If it tastes metallic, perfect. It means it worked. If it hisses, step back. Congratulations, you've made both water and danger. If it smells like smoke and survival, perfect. That's survival science. Steam leaves impurities behind. The vapor is clean until it touches your filthy container. Condensation is just nature's apology for nuclear rain. Science still works. It just hates you now. No bottled water, no problem. Just steam, soot, and questionable hope. That's survival hack number five. Next time, we'll make fire out of frozen despair.